Wait, what are we doing? Movie news. Movie news. We're doing movie news. I thought it was movie Jews. I'm very unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Reject Nation. Greg Alva here. John here. Sammy Gonzalez. The Mexilence the from DoubleToasted.com. Dot com is with us today. Where they talk a lot about movie news and movie reviews. So make sure to go check them out. And make sure to follow Sammy. Plenty of hot ass pictures over there. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, those bikini shots are something worth remembering. One might even say that they're pretty Mexilent. <gasps> Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about some movie news, let's shall do we? That. That's that's on topic. And I'm fine. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna go. No 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 man. No, <laughs> you're not allowed to. Orale. What week are we in? Second week of April. Yeah, it's this Friday video, the 13th. This video will be old oh. after two days. Spooky. So, first order of business. David Leach. Leach. L- L- like. What a terrible last name. Latka. Really should get a change. Lotkey's Jewish. Yeah, yeah tasty, right? Movie mm-hmm. Jews of the Week. Movie yeah, Jews yeah. of the Week. He is confirmed to be the director of uh, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw spinoff film. Oh, boy. Never again will he make his own original movie. Never. No. No. Just, not, not one. Just... Make our action movie cooler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance you can hear Tyrese screaming about no! his family. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that video of Tyrese upset about this. <laughs> I feel like the behind the scenes of Fast and Furious will make a more interesting movie one day than any of these Fast and Furious oh, yeah. films, to be oh, honest. Yeah. I really hope just that Chad Stelsky is directing all of his rant videos. Yeah. That would be really <laughs> and then David Leach will come back yeah. and yeah. reshoot those. They'll patch up their shit and make John Wick three. Sammy, how do you feel about this Hobbs and Shaw movie? I mean, this franchise prints money. So do it. The Rock can sell anything to anybody yeah. at this point. Jason, Jason Statham. Jason Statham. 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 Yes. Statham. Yes. Statham. <laughs> Jason Statham can also sell just about anything but to a dumber audience. Yeah. And so you put those two together. You got the high class craziness and you got the low class craziness and you make for one crazy ass movie. Well, people really care about this movie though. Yes. You think so? Yes, because the thing is, is that if this is less about cars, I mean, it's almost not about the cars anymore anyway. It's about them just getting into like ice heists the, and all sorts of things like the that. The men are the cars now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. The thing is like their chemistry is what made this happen. Mm. And I feel like you pointed that out. We don't have as many movie stars. We don't have as many like action stars. These are two dudes who actually can still kind of do that. More so The Rock than yeah. Jason Statham. Well, yeah. But together, I, I'm sure they can I love how movie. The Rock's last movie that just came out is a movie with him with a, a, a giant gorilla. Mm-hmm. And now Jason Statham's next movie with Warner it's Brothers is a giant, giant shark. shark. <laughs> and and now they're... they're just, Who's they're doing like, better? Yeah. 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 Mm, there's a scale. <laughs> yeah, who are they going to be versing this time? But why would they team up? What, what would be the purpose of them teaming up? But then again, Fast and the Furious has never been about the story. Hey, Even family. though they try to sell it like it is. <laughs> it's yeah. about yeah. family. And yeah. family can come from anywhere. Even mortal enemies who killed some of your team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm just excited for the scene where both The Rock and Jason Statham punch a car at the same time and it flips over them. Exactly. That's what I want. And David Leach is the kind of guy who can deliver us that. I'm not sure uh, why David Leach is the guy who's becoming like this go-to director for so many things. Like Atomic Blonde was all right, Mm -hmm. in my opinion. Deadpool 2, we have no idea how that's going to turn out. That's from a different studio. Yeah. And uh, when I think about John Wick Chapter 2, I was like, nah, I didn't like it as much as Part 1. It was still really fun. Uh, Atomic Blonde was kind of boring for a lot of it. (laughs) Yeah. Who did Wick 2? Is that Leach or Stahelski? Ah, you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, because here's the thing. Here's, confusing, yeah. here's the thing to me, if I have got my names correct, I feel like the Fast and the Furious franchise, they found something that works, but they also kind of need to switch it up again. And so I feel like a guy like David Leach with a very visual sense, like even if Atomic Blonde wasn't exactly as thrilling as we all wanted it to be, it still has that visual and that tonal style that's really distinct that was missing from John Wick 2 for me. So for something like this, to see him go to that and to bring that level of style could be cool for something that's kind of stale to me, this franchise, you know? That's true. That's true. I mean, it's fast and... ah, who cares? 
Yeah. 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 These movies are getting to the point where they're not for us anymore. Yeah, yeah. they're for yeah. the international market. Yeah. They're for and family. Ex- yeah. They're for family. It's family entertainment. As long as they're punching things, yeah. they can just punch their way to international fame and success, like they have been. So I think it's cool. The Rock and Jason Statham, though, that sounds like actually yeah, a really cool it's, idea. It's a modern day Schwarzenegger and like Dolph Lundgren. I hope it turns out like that prison <laughs> movie that he made with Stallone, where it's just both of them in prison and it's not actually very action packed until like the very end. Just dialogue scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 that's totally. what they're known. For. Emotional <laughs> dramas, yeah. and then you know, and then the actual main action sequence will just be the same one from Fate of the Furious. <laughs> Rubber bullets, big mistake. Da, 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 da. And it then they mad. CGI Paul Walker in there, <laughs> and everyone's oh, pissed. Wiz Khalifa plays. It's, a, <laughs> it's been a long day, and then we all cry. Guys, Bill Hader and James McAvoy are in talks to be in It Chapter Two. Bill Hader. Uh, is expected to be taking over the Finn Wolfhard character. Beep, beep, Richie. Which I can totally see. Yeah. Bill Hader's funny, and Finn Wolfhard was funny. So it makes sense. And James McAvoy is... <laughs> is good, British. Is British, so it makes sense he'd take over for Bill. <laughs> I think the casting for It, Chapter 2, is going to be more exciting than the actual movie itself. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I have heard that the adult portion of the book is kind of boring. And then I watched the mini series. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. Point, and the adult part is so boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, they go to a Chinese restaurant for like 20 minutes. And then they talk about everything that happens in It Chapter 1. <laughs> right. As if we didn't <laughs> just see it the night see before. It. They just keep talking about right. it. Yeah. I, and then they don't even remember half of it. Yeah. So that's the whole point. But the thing for me is when I watched the mini series. I always thought the Richie Tojo character was just obnoxious, and he, he was such a hacky '90s yeah. comedian. And Bill Hader is not quite as bad, but he can kind of be that way in a lot of instances, at least in my opinion. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like okay, he's a little grating, kind of has the same thing going on over and over again. But so I, I think it might actually fit in a weird way. I feel like that, and also he does have acting chops, and I feel like that combination could work in this movie. Well, what's yeah. what's exciting about these two? These guys are like chameleon actors. Yeah, Bill Hader is like an underrated chameleon. Like he actor. does good character work. He's, sure. he's a dude. Watch some go, documentary. He now. can go in and out of dramas too. Like he is an amazing actor. And James McAvoy, what you see him do with Split, arguably he should have been Pennywise. I mean, yeah. Yeah. after Split, I'm convinced he could do just about anything. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. And Jessica Chastain's already supposed to be... Uh, Bev? Redhead. Yeah. Yeah, Bev. Barb. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Old Barb. Old Barb, yeah. The Barb. It cast is the same cast as Stranger Things, and it's the same cast as Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. You Jack know? Black's going to be uh, Bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Bimmy, what is his name? Ben. Ben, ben. yeah. There you go. Bimmy. Bimmy. <laughs> It's a double dragon there's, reference, folks. Bill, Ben, and Beth. There's too many bees in this. Hey, and we can get Tyrese to play the the one black kid who the movie didn't really pay any attention to. <laughs> oh, the one where they gave his plot points from the yeah, book? Yeah, to the black kid. <laughs> just so the fact he can read books. Like, no. I mean, like, good for, for fat people representation, but what? come on. I thought that role would go with Kevin Hart. Oh. <laughs> oh I was like, the fat kid? <laughs> yeah, you see, I'm fat now, and I lost weight and turned black. You see, and that's, that's the worst Kevin Hart ever. Exactly. It's ever. But I've we never knew heard you were going for it. I, I've got to go for it. Because he only does, bam, and you just do yeah. that, and the thing. I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard somebody do a Kevin Hart impression, so you've already set the bar. Because <laughs> I, I can already tell what you're going for, uh, so it's all right. Tag, tag the real rejects in doubletoast.com in your impressions of Kevin Hart. Yeah. Please. This is link down well, below. talking about the It Chapter 2 movie news. As he plays the fat kid. <laughs> Send us a stardust as Kevin Hart. <laughs> Oh, this one's fun. Yeah. Mm. Warner Brothers has said fuck you to Brett Ratner. What? Why? Because wh- Gal Gadot hates him. A lot of people do too now. <laughs> Gal Gadot. Well. If anybody can get shit done over at the WB, <laughs> it is Gal Gadot. With her one movie. With her one, <laughs> that is their one movie right now, at least for that cinematic universe. Don't worry, Aquaman's coming out and that'll save everything. That's going to change everything. <laughs> Jason Momoa. You will be <laughs> astonished by how necessary he is to the plot of his okay. own film. Okay, so here's what's going on with this deal, guys. All right, there's Rat Pack Dune Entertainment that uh, Brett Ratner, I think, is owner of? He's, I, I, it's his name, isn't it? Yeah. Rat Pack? Rat Ratner. Ratner, Rat Pack. All right, Brett Ratner has been accused of so many bad, terrible, <laughs> sexual, deviant things. 
Um, like what? Tower Heist. <laughs> well, as much fun as <laughs> hey, we can talk about it. Hey, Tower Heist was written by former UCSB alumni Go Gauchos. So the last movie with Rat Pack, Dude Entertainment, and WB, they had a 75 picture deal. Wow. Apparently Rampage is going to be the last one. They were supposed to do some like awful Hugh Hefner, Jared Leto movie thing right. that sounded really weird. But they had a whole lot more slated to be working with and they, and they produced a lot of the DCEU films as well. This is a huge deal because Brett Ratner will officially be no one now. And I guess that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But say goodbye to Rush Hour 4. Damn it! Oh, yes. no. Because what made Rush Hour was Brett Ratner's direction. <laughs> right. Yeah, it and wasn't Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. He made Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker who they are. Well, Don't. Jackie Chan was Jackie Chan in China. No, and he then wasn't. He not when Brett Ratner came out, <laughs> right? Yeah. Then China knew who <laughs> Jackie Chan was. Then they went back and rediscovered all of his Hong Kong cinema. Oh, yeah. that's what happened. You know, I met Brett Ratner once. And did he touch you? It was such a good experience. <laughs> no! That was not the setup I was expecting there. I met him after the premiere of Money Talks, which starred Charlie Sheen. <laughs> This guy's a great history. Oh, man. Birds of a feather. Anyway, goodbye, <laughs> Brett Ratner. So long. Don't make another movie ever again. Guys, you're never going to believe this. The live-action Mulan movie is actually casting Chinese people in their films. What? No. They're not going to Cloud Atlas this shit? They're not going to... Um, that one where uh, Big Eyes is Hawaiian-Asian? I really <laughs> was hoping they would get Cara Delevingne to play Mulan and that the Emperor would be played by Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> 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 but apparently they're getting major superstar Gong Li, who's not playing Mulan, actually. I've heard he's playing the villain. Yeah. He's playing. <laughs> and uh, Jet Li is going to be playing the emperor in it, which is cool. Donnie Yen is going to be playing the commander who mentors Mulan. And with all this information of Chinese casting, I actually can't remember for the life of me who plays Mulan in this new movie. Scroll through that bad boy. Yes, John. sir. <laughs> Liu Yifei going to be playing. And we all know Liu Yifei because we, we all follow heavily Chinese cinema. Yeah, yeah. It, Brett Ratner put her on, and, <laughs> and now she's famous everywhere. <laughs> right. This is smart that they're not doing a whole whitewashing thing. I remember when the Mulan animated movie came out, it was banned in China for a while. Why? Because Chinese people thought it was very racist and insensitive. Knowing that and then rewatching Mulan, I did go, wow, this <laughs> this is really offensive to Chinese culture yeah. actually. Eddie Murphy yeah. doing his whole dragon thing. Yeah. This is bad. <laughs> no, the whole from beginning to end, like yeah. all the jokes are just like white people making fun of Chinese people. That's what the script is. And I'm really hoping that they don't do it this time because right now, Disney is so smart to be, at, out of all their movies to be adapting, Mulan makes sense because how movies benefit so much from overseas market, especially in China, and then getting a bunch of famous Chinese actors in there. I think we gotta get Jackie Chan in here. I can't think of any other Chinese actors that oh, do no. American movies. You can get Chun-Li back, the lady who played Chun-Li. The lady who played Chun-Li. Yeah, she's on oh, Ace of the Shield, I think. Oh yeah, she's okay. Yeah, no, she's yeah, 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 she's yeah, cool. Yeah, she's Dude, cool. You, get you her can get in. that one guy from The Dark Knight with, with the money. Who they gotta like break out of China. Mm, yeah. Oh, that guy. And they sit him on the stack at the end. Michelle, and the, and Michelle Kwan. Yeah, from ice skating. From, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, I told you just came out. Let's make it happen. It would exactly. all make sense. Crossover. Right you want to know something interesting about this, though? No love interest cast, which means I think they're going to go like, she's just a warrior and all her strife is going to be within that. It's not going to be referencing that thing. Oh, yeah. But she does it all for a man, you know? It's gonna I be think a... it's going to be like a 2018, 2019, flipping the roles where it's just a strong, empowered woman and Good. she's going to take the lead and there's no guys involved because, you know, the, the mentor role is meant Good. to be like... Ca capitalize you know, on the female empowerment yeah. stuff. Why not capitalize on it? Right. This Ride that wave. This movie is fascinating to me just in the shape of it because I just don't know which angle to think of it from because I'm just like, sub Disney? Right. China, gonna make that money. Oh no, this whole like, thing is a, is a giant marketing thing that could be effective and manipulative at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. like, this yeah. makes <laughs> sense, but also this is like so opportune. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. In every conceivable way. We right. get crap for whitewashing, we'll cast a bunch of Chinese people in here. Then, get crap yeah, for not having strong feelings male characters will make Mulan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be manipulative, but effective. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, aren't most movies that are impactful kind of like that? Yeah. A little yeah, bit exploited. It is very in. much of the now. They should get James Wan to direct this. I mean, it would be very cool to look at. <laughs> yeah. It would be probably be pretty sharp. So after Sammy left our place, um, news about the new Terminator had dropped. We already finished filming with Sammy, so he couldn't be in this part. Not Diego Luna, 
Gabriel Luna. Oh, and wow. More Lunas? More Lunas. Lunai. He is going to be playing apparently the main new Terminator in the Terminator Tim Miller James Cameron sequel thingy that's going on. Natalia Reyes is going to be playing a woman from a working class neighborhood in Mexico City who finds herself in the battle between humans and machines. Interesting. Cool. I mean, this is awesome cool. that Gabriel Luna is going to be in. I, I hear he's great on Ghost Rider. Personally, I've never seen any of this guy's work. I hear he's great. And Natalia Reyes, I hear is a great actress too. Personally, have never seen any of her work. But this just makes sense. I mean, the first couple Terminators were white guys. Terminator 3 was a woman. Genesis had an Asian Terminator. And now oh, we have a Mexican, Mexican Terminator. Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is the Diversity. Terminator created in Skynet's yeah. like Mexican wing. How do they like skin these machines? Do they really care that much about I being multicultural know. with their Terminators? I have no idea. There's talking about a young woman uh, in a working class neighborhood in Mexico City, which would make sense because if you pay attention to Terminator 2, there's a whole storyline there with Sarah Connor and John Connor having uh, lived out in a section in Mexico, mm -hmm. right? And if Linda Hamilton and Arnold are back in this, maybe they're still hiding out with that same family. Yeah, maybe. Uncle Bob. Baby's all grown up now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, Gonna it's, fight some Terminators yeah. all around. It's more Terminator. We'll see. It's more Terminator. We'll see. We'll we'll see. I'm glad we got a wide variety of ethnicities in here. I like I guarantee this announcement. Tim, I guarantee you Tim Miller was like, oh, we can't just get the Mexican to play a bad guy. We need we need like someone who's like a, a good character. We Mexican. need to counterbalance this. Yeah, let's, let's get this, this Natalia Reyes chick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. She's Colombian, though. You know, sounds But it'll South work as Mexican America. in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe she could be a, a Colombian living in South in, in Mexico City. Never right? happens. No, it doesn't. Never People happens. People don't live elsewhere from where they're from. Back to the outro with Sammy. All right, guys. Well, what movie news of the week did we miss? Oh, you know what else? Avengers is already going to dominate the box office of all superhero movies ever made. But Black Panther just became the highest grossing superhero movie in America. Knock that shit out, Black Panther. <laughs> Panther is also in this movie, so Chadwick so Boseman it rolls over. is going to yeah. be on a yacht soon with a <laughs> bunch of strippers. That yeah, are he already is are. on the yacht. I'm fucking king, bitches. <laughs> no, like yeah. people think he's actually the king. Yeah. He's actually going places. He stays in accent all yeah. day. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Is, is, he, is he married? He's going to be on a yacht named after that purple flower. <laughs> <laughs> he's like in his 40s? Really? He's in his 40s. Isn't that crazy? Dude, yeah. that's kingly. That's kingly age. King age. I thought it was like... 25. <laughs> yeah. As they say, I don't say this because I don't think I'm allowed to. Black don't crack, man. But you work at DoubleToasted.com. And there's so. at least two black guys on yeah. there. Every time. <laughs> at least. At least. So you can subscribe to the Reject Nation. And like, if you like black guys, check out DoubleToasted.com. And like a Mexican and a guy that shows up who's also kind of Mexican hey, sometimes. it's a pretty multicultural show. You even have a woman. One. Yeah. One. One. One consistent. You know, you gotta have that cast member. No Filipinos, though. Dude, jump, well, jump in. Well, screw the real rejects. <laughs> I'm moving to Texas. Hey, man. Lord. And Let's do it. You just lost Gertz. I'm white. I can do it. Let's go. Let's do, do it, it, gang. Real rejects is leaving to go join DoubleToasted.com. That's the thumbnail right there. Oh, boy.